Imagine a newborn dairy calf. She's still wet and sticky, and her mom is licking her. And then, through a sequence of events, she finds herself alone. She can still hear and see other babies, but she can't interact with them. For her first two months of life, she is solitary. Now, this is a really hard way to start life, no matter where you are. And if you find this situation aversive, you're not alone. Research has found that many people find this story to be upsetting. But today, I want to focus on the individual housing of calves and see if we can make this better. USDA reports that 70% of dairy calves are housed by themselves, and the most common housing type is the hutch, which is this white plastic house pictured on my slides. Farmers house calves by themselves due tradition, thinking that keeping a baby in isolation will benefit its health. But over the years, research has found that calves raised in small groups offer benefits such as decreased fearfulness, increased growth, without impacting their health. It makes sense that there are benefits because calves are herd animals. Despite this information, farms are hesitant to switch to pair housing, perhaps because a hutch is designed for a single animal. So we wanted to see if we could have pair housing on a working dairy farm. Once per week, I visited a farm in the Fraser Valley where calves were either individually housed, so one calf in one hutch with one outdoor space, or pair housed, two calves in two hutches and a larger outdoor space. While on the farm, we looked at their health, we looked at how much feed they were eating, and when they were eight weeks old, we gave them a new feed. And this was to support other research that has found that in primates and rodents and other mammals, that if you grow an infant by itself, it's going to have developmental problems. So from all that information, we found that when you give a baby a partner, she eats more food and is less scared of new things. Why does this matter? Well, beyond having somebody to snuggle, it's important to decrease stress in life. As a calf grows up, she's going to have to move to new barns. She's going to have to navigate new situations with new animals, and she's going to be given new food. Think about this from a human perspective. Think of moving to a new city. You have to find a new house, go to a new grocery store, purchase new food. This can be stressful. Wouldn't you prefer to have somebody to figure out those problems with? Perhaps a calf would, too. In conclusion, pairing by adjoining adjacent hutches appears to provide benefits to calves on working farms without impairing their health. So instead of raising these little infants alone after birth, perhaps we ought to give them a partner and modify our housing to better suit their needs. Thank you. <laughs>